the lights went out. Then the first explosion hit us. It flipped me through the air like a rag doll. I honestly thought that I was going to die in there. Already I've issued a six-month moratorium on deep water drilling. We need to know the facts before we continue. It was a very prestigious job to work on the Deepwater Horizon. How's my room? 338. It was an outstanding rig because of the crew that was on it. We were all up on the front here when everything happened. Every one of the rig's defenses failed. There were things that were done to save time and save money. Transation started eliminating positions. When the decision was made to cut corners, it's putting them at increased risk. We were behind schedule, so it's starting to cost them a lot of money. They knew the hydraulics weren't working. They knew that there was rubber in the mud that was coming back up. That tells you something. People are aware that things weren't going properly. These are things that everybody knows are wrong, and they're still told to keep going. President U.S. BP, were you aware of any problems with this well prior to it blowing? No, I was not. I bragged about getting my son work on the Deepwater Horizon. He felt this huge guilt being involved in this industry that had failed. I really wish it was different, but it's not, I'm afraid. Has your company had to start laying off people? Have you lost your job because of it? This is what they call hard luck city. Take the money. It's a gift. They hadn't paid me nothing. The idea that civilization can last three hours without oil is ridiculous. We're talking about money that runs countries. Oil companies amass billions of dollars in profits, yet the investment for safety was less than one-tenth of one percent. Is it a false god we're trying to worship? Somebody ought to feel something other than greed. I didn't really tell anybody that I was involved because I didn't know if I should be proud of it or embarrassed by it, you know? And I still don't know.